Yeah, I can't believe it's so long still until, uh... Until what? Until, um, Batman vs. Superman. Yeah. It's like, I hope the next two aren't that, like, long apart, you know? Yeah. Because that's, like, that's going to be forever. Yeah, so Creed was definitely worth going to see. From what I, from what I heard, yeah. I definitely suggest going to going to see it in the theater. The crowd was really getting into it. There was even people dressed like Rocky. Yeah. Yeah, it was really weird. It was I saw like four or five people dressed up like Rocky. show you is basically how Japanese fighting game fans normally act. Okay. Adam Sandler. Okay. Is that Billy Madison? Yeah, it's Billy Madison. <laughs> Stop looking at me, Scorpion. <laughs> yeah, that, that post I did because um, upon research, I found out that, that Mortal Kombat is not that popular in Japan. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. Well. Uh, most of the fighting games, like Street Fighter, Tekken, The King of Fighters, they were all made in Japan. Mortal Kombat was made in the U.S. And, um, wow, I, I didn't know, know what, that. I don't know what it is, but like the Japanese think uh, that they think that their fighting games are more deep in terms of gameplay and are better looking visually. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought the original Mortal Kombat had a really great look to it. Yeah. Like, it had, like, the real uh, photo, like, the, what do you call that? Like, really realistic pho photography for it. I was watching some of the Mortal Kombat X or Mortal Kombat 10 finish them the other day they have like a big compilation of like yeah. all the finishing moves wow that's a brutal game man quite possibly the most glorious one yet mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna pick it up yeah definitely Yeah, I didn't know that it was a it was a U.S. based game. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> I dropped my iPad, <clears throat> and like the the screens shattered. Wow. 
so I brought it to the guy to get it fixed. It's happened to me one other time where it broke like that. And he fixed it for 80 bucks. But now parts of the screen don't work, so to make it work I have to like turn it around and around and try to find where on the screen is broken and where it isn't. Because it's a new glass. Wow. So I think I'm going to drop it off at his place tomorrow and get it fixed up. Bah. Trying to think of if I've seen anything else that was new. I think I might try that series, that series you were talking about, the, was it the Street Fighter series? Yes, Street Fighter Assassin's Fist. Can I find that on YouTube? Um, I think you can, but it's, uh, I think you gotta pay for it. Okay. Try to I'll try to find it somewhere. Some of the photography for it looks really nice. Yes, it does. There's a full fight here. Uh, Gutestu versus Guki. The Guki or Akuma. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, I've seen that old guy in a lot of stuff. Yeah. It looks pretty good. Yeah. Oh, damn. The guy loses his eye, man. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. I'll definitely give that a a look into. Yes. Yeah. The the web, the series was definitely uh, a pleasant surprise when it came out, uh, definitely made up for the other live-action Street Fighter movies. Mm -hmm. Are they still doing the uh, Mortal Kombat series? I, I, they might be, but I don't know, uh, I have not heard much from it, um, I know they're, they're doing another series called Mortal Kombat X Generation, okay. which is more or less based on NKX. Oh, okay. But from what I, but I think you heard about this that James Wan is producing the reboot. Oh yeah. I like him. Yeah. James Wan. James Wan. You know, it, it actually, uh, it, it actually wouldn't be. Uh, wouldn't be such a surprise if uh, he was if he was going to direct the uh, reboot because um, well, this kind of uh, this kind of property, Mortal Kombat, seems like it has uh, all the material that James Wan is familiar with. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it'd be very cool. Yeah. I feel like going back and watching the original. The original Mortal Kombat movie? Yeah, I haven't seen that one in a long time. Maybe watch yeah. the first the first two. Yeah. Just because I don't remember a lot of the second one. Yeah. I I definitely have. And not only do I have the movie on, um, on YouTube, but I think I have it on, like, because I have a Google account. I actually downloaded the movie one time. And cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to go back and watch that. That'd be a good good one to go back and watch. I remember when that first came out, the two the two people in that movie everyone were talking about was like Goro, Liu Kang, and, and Reptile. Yeah. I remember like seeing that with an, like an actual audience and when Reptile first starts coming around, they really got into that. Yeah. Yeah. Those fa the fight scenes are fantastic in that movie. Yes, they were. Yeah. Classics. Yeah. And, uh, this guy, speaking of the fight scenes in Mortal Kombat, this guy, um, I don't know if you've seen his videos, uh, this guy, this YouTube account, his name is Tony Cha, and he he took the, the some of the fight scenes from the Mortal Kombat movie, and he added in some new sound to it that sounded a bit more brutal. Oh, nice. Yeah, hold on, I think. Yeah, I'll show you. Do you watch that show, Superhero Beatdown? Yes, I do. I love that one, too. Yeah. I put, uh, again, I posted a link on the, the critics' chat. All right, let's check this out. Wait, is this the one? Let me check. Uh, this might be another a wrong link. Okay. Let me delete it. I, I just want to make sure. Yeah. 